On new tonight, the man who was tased by Colorado Springs police fell and became paralyzed as speaking publicly for the first time today. Jacob Root suing the individual police officer for excessive force, asking for $100 million. Matt Morrow here with the latest Matt. Well, Jeremy and Erica, Jacob Root is now paralyzed and he blames the Colorado Springs police officer who tased him two years ago. That officer is Robert Comstock and a Springs police investigation found he did not violate the department's policy. I'll take you through what happened. But first, a warning, the video you're about to see is graphic. So this is what immediately led up to Jacob Root getting tased. Take a look. Please, K-9, stop! Please, K-9, stop! You're going to get bit! You're going to get bit! Get on the ground! Yep. Get your hands out! Get your hands out! So this was back on May 16th of 2022. It all started when Colorado Springs police say they spotted Root in a stolen car. When they tried to arrest him, they say he slammed into a marked police car, then sped off. They did not chase him. Then about 20 minutes later, officers spotted Root at a gas station where they did chase him. They ran after him here. They tried to use a bolo wrap to stop him, and eventually they tased him. Root broke his neck when he fell, and his lawyers say the officer did not follow policy by not specifically warning that Root was going to get tased and by tasing him on a rocky, elevated surface where he could fall and get hurt. I'm not independent. I can't feed myself. Growing up, being able to do gymnastics to being stuck in a chair, I mean, I was free, and now, now I'm stuck. Colorado Springs police have stood by Officer Robert Comstock since that tasing two years ago about the lawsuit. They say in part, quote, while our goal is to complete every call for service in a safe manner, unfortunately, the suspect sustained injuries during his attempt to flee officers who were readily identifiable and had commanded him to stop. Officer Comstock is a valued employee and is in good standing with the department. Again, Root is suing the officer, not the Colorado Springs Police Department. We'll keep you posted on what happens.